Hello guys, my name is Steven Bigarido and here to insight about the uh, Out of Our Minds by Ken Rob Robinson. Let's start. So guys, before we, we start, I'm, I'm focusing in the author, which is the Mr. Ken Robinson. Ken Robinson, Ken Robinson is the British author, speaker, and international advisor on education in the arts to government, non-profits, education, and art bodies. He was the director of the Art and School Project of Professor of Arts in, at the University of Warwick and Professor Emeritus after leaving the university. Okay guys, and the next is uh, I'm going to proceed the, uh, the title of the, yes, the Out of Our Minds by Ken Robinson. Uh, my insight to the title is, at first I'm going to insight about the title is Out of Our Minds is a book that will teach teach readers why creativity is more impo important ever and show the way they should transfer their manager and perspective on the topic in order to prosper the modern business world being, creati being creative helps you become a better problem solver all areas in your life and work and then creativity helps you see things di differently and better deal with uncertainly study shows that creative people are better able to live with uncertainly because they can adapt their thinking, allow or the flow of act now. Okay, let's proceed. My first insight of the auto, auto power by Ken Robinson is beyond the imagining in most respect. We human beings are like mostly organ, organism on, on earth. Our lives are brief, co cosmic term. We pass through a common cycle of mortality from conce conception to birth to death. Also, we have many supplies over the past few centuries of industrialism. More people have moved, moved up the land into cities and seem believe that we can live apart for the, for the rest of our nature. So, uh, as a result, we have moment of our immediate environment and imagination. We can bring to mind things that are review and reinterpret the past. We can enhance our sense the present by seeing with other people's eyes. And then, and we can anticipate for at many possible in the futures. We may not be able to predict the future, but we we can help to shape it. Next is the facing the revolution every day. For me, the rate of change increase. New technologies are changing the way we think, work, play, and interact with another person. At the same, tremendous combine. At the same time, the world population is lar larging and rising quicker than it's ha have ever. Been. The tremendous combination of this factor is recommendation for the recommendation uh, are responsible for many people and organizations are finding it too, too difficult to cope with these changes and are feeling left behind or alienated. To, pay, to face this challenge, we have to understand their nature to meet them. We have to re recognize that cultivating our natural, natural powers of imagination, creativity, and innovation is not an option but an urge, urgent necessity. And I'm also having insight in the as matter of fact, this is a quiz show called the Mastermind. It's a one of the most well-known programs I programs in our British television. Each week, four players turn on sitting in a darkened room beneath spotlight and being interrogated by the quiz master. There are two set of questions, each lasting two minutes. The first on a specific issue chosen by the contender, and the second evaluates their general knowledge. The winner of the mastermind similar concept na general junior mastermind is also available contestant on the enormously popular who wants to be a millionaire. You have the chance to win a fortune by correctly answering answering by 12 factual questions. This type this type of quizzes rely on ability to remember the factual information such as names, dates, and facts. The creative mind power representation as fun complex forms of language, mathematics, and the arts, all of which perfect human awareness and shape our per perception of the world. We don't just look at the moon, we use complicated theories of the cosmos to undi undi I I ident identify. We don't have just sentiments of each other, we can explain them by mu music and poverty. We don't just live in a neighborhood, we live in communities. And this is the one of the famous uh, uh, program in the 
with this television. This is the kako. This is we call the master mind. And next is my insight about the creating the creating the ideas, beliefs, and values that we derive from our experience. As we as we all as the meaning we derive from them shape our consciousness, our belief of the power to either liberate or confine us. We literally build the universe in which exists the option of recreation is constantly present as a psychologist George Kelly phrased it. We trade experience through which ideas to meaning of them. Next is what what is the creative process? I describe creative is as the process of coming up with a unique and valuable ideas, process, or originality and value. And the term of process denotes a connection between it many aspects implying that each aspect of space with secures interconnected. Being creative entails a number of processes that are interviewed. The first is that is generative, the second is an assessment. And we are proceed to the personal creativity. Creativity refers to the of distinct abilities and passion as well as our specific creative potential in addition to generally capacity for creative thought. It might be for a certain type of music or instrument for music in general. It may be for mathematics, chemistry, or current dance. It may be for becoming a firefighter, a housewife, physician, or a teacher. We all have uh, different abilities and capabilities. Each of, each of us skills and abilities that can be on this personal dimension of create, creative achievement is discussed in my book, The Element. The point where individual skills meet personal desire, personal creativity is frequent, 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 frequently fueled by a passion for specific materials. A sculpture will, will be inspired by the shape of piece of wood or the texture of stone while musicians will be motivated by the sounds and their feel in instrument. And I like the, I, I like the second principle in the innovation. It's the side of Im- imagination, growing culture of invention requires a healthy dose of creativity. A lot of creative work is freely toying with ideas, ripping, sketching, improvising, and exploring new possi- possibilities, especially in the early stage of project. The final quality, what is done, is de- determined by this process of interweaving, forging new organization according to Peter Richard. Is first and foremost place that allows people to take risks. Second is a place that allows people to discover and develop their own natural intelligence. The third is a place where the where there are no stupid questions and no right answer. And fourth, it is place value irrelevant, the lively dynamic, dynamic, the sure, sure in the fourth place is the value irrelevant. And the next is creativity labs, collaboration, creativity, groups are ever, ever changing, bringing people from various disciplines together do not guarantee creative work. Diversity can be an obstacle to innovation unless collaboration is the heart of Pixar. Creative process, collaboration as Randy Nelson observed is the, the same as a cooperation. Cooperation simply requires that different people efforts by synchronized in some way they may they may be working on completely different different tasks uh, at different times but but they will sti- but they will still work together as long as one supporters completion of the other this is how industrial assembly lines work as well how many how many administrative Talks I task a uh, present in linear fashion. Collaboration on other hand entails people cooperating on shared process which with their interaction influencing the work nature and outcomes. According to Randy Nelson, collaboration is a improvisational process that must be based on two key principles. First, all par- participants accept every offer that is made. And next principle is creativity takes time. Takes time creative insight. Can take two time develop and creative organization. Understand that time is essential resource for innovation. Some of our stop discretionary, discretionary 
Three, time to work in their own ideas. Perhaps the best example is Google, where engineers can use 20% of their time to decreationary project. They can pursue any interest they want during this time. If they have an idea, the company will be interested. They can pitch into senior management team since 2005. The 20% of discretionary time has been used to develop 5% of all Google product launch. The 20% allocation is provision that can change that can change at any time. It's valuable in its offer but it but it's also sends a powerful message. The one of the important to me is creativity is not confined to any particular discipline or activity. Often it's assumed to be associated maintain, mainly with the arts, craft and design, but it's not the national but it's not. The National Commission, which I church included scientists, economists, business leaders, and educators, dancers, musicians, actors, and performers. The report called All the Our Futures did with the whole curriculum. Yet some members of the government steadfastly referred to it as uh, the, uh, the arts report. Creativity is not only the, about the arts. But work in the arts can be highly creative but can so work in anything that involves intelligence. There are many fundamental ar arguments but for the art in education. But associating them exclusively with creativity a mistake. It implies what the arts may be opportunities for break from work, re rigorous academic work. A chance to create creative for a time, a view that misunderstand both the nature of creativity and the arts. Simply and true, cre creativity is possible in every discipline should be promoted in the whole of education. We are all together school and no longer be academic teams. One of the principles for transforming education is a partnership. Everyone has taken the future of education. Microsoft and the National Education Association. That's it. Thank you.